When people think of Madrid, people usually think of a beautiful Spanish capital city, and rightfully so, as Madrid is stunning. But Madrid is also an entire region, not just a city. And today, I'm taking you to Laguna de San Maral, and we're going to go hiking while I tell you all about this beautiful lake. Laguna de San Maral is a natural wonder situated in Pradena del Rincón. It's a municipality that is part of the biosphere reserve of the Sierra del Rincón. And I know what you're thinking, Madrid has a biosphere reserve, and it's true, it does. There's so many beautiful mountains and lakes and just natural beauty in Madrid, and this is why I'm telling you all about this Laguna. This location is a must-visit spot for travelers, particularly those who enjoy hiking and nature. So if you're traveling to Madrid or going to travel to Madrid and are looking for what to do, definitely make sure you add the Sierra del Rincón because there's a bunch of beautiful pueblos and Spanish villages and they're full of natural beauty. So make sure to add that to your list. One of the main attractions here is, of course, the water path that connects the urban center of Pradena del Rincón with the San Maral Lagoon. The path is a simple two-kilometer route, which makes it an accessible adventure for hikers of all levels. It's sure to be a beautiful walk through the heart of the Spanish countryside, so definitely do not forget to bring your camera. The lake itself is a sight to behold, surrounded by lush greenery, or if you visit during the winter, like me, it will be covered with snow. So definitely make sure you bring proper hiking shoes. I would recommend something that's waterproof proof as the trails specifically this day were really wet um, there are some parts that were dry specifically on the grass as you can see i was wearing white shoes but definitely would recommend to bring waterproof shoes if you're traveling during the winter or early spring the lake also offers a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of urban life of madrid so make sure you check this out if you're close and you're looking for an amazing day trip option visitors can spend a laid-back day exploring the area and soaking up the serene environment what's also nice about madrid is that it does have the four seasons so if you come and visit this same lake in about two months or so it's going to be very different it's going to be very green it's going to be very beautiful definitely more sunnier those who want to make this more than a madrid day trip definitely make sure you check out the holiday rentals available near the laguna they're known as turismo rural or casa rural which means like rural tourism which is basically exactly what you would find here these accommodations provide a comfortable base from which to explore not only the lagoon, but also other local attractions. As I've mentioned before, this is part of one of the beautiful pueblos de Sierra de Rincón. So if you're in the area, make sure you check out the other pueblos because they're surely not to be missed. Others should also consider visiting the Sierra de Rincón Biosphere Reserve Information Center. Here you can learn more about the treasures of the Sierra de Rincón, including the Laguna de San Moral. This was really cool. While we were hiking this circular route along the lake, we came across this little rock information center. These are rocks from different uh, pueblos that are in the area or different surrounding areas and it tells you how the rocks got there how it was formed and all that good stuff so if you're into history and you're into rocks this is definitely the place for you remember to respect the natural environment during your visit as the laguna de san moral is a precious part of the bioreserve of the sierra de rincon and it's important to preserve its beauty for future generations to enjoy and remember this is just a glance of what madrid's natural beauty has to offer you so if you're looking for things to add to your madrid itinerary definitely make sure to add Laguna de San Maral to the top of your list along with the surrounding pueblos because they are super beautiful and perfect for nature lovers. As mentioned before, this is a biosphere reserve so you can expect to see varied and diverse animal life and bird life along this trail and in this area. So I hope you enjoyed hiking with me today. Thank you so much for coming along and joining me on this adventure. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments so I can get back to you. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.